Alright, this is an example of calculating the cost of equity using the capital asset pricing model. In the capital asset pricing model, the cost of equity is equal to the risk-free rate, which is the rate on U.S. Treasuries, plus the market risk premium, times the beta. Alright, so the market risk premium is the excess return that the stock market earns over and above the risk-free rate. The beta for a particular company is the size of its risk premium relative to other companies. So if we were to write this out, the beta is equal to the Walmart risk premium divided by the average stock risk premium. Okay, so basically when it, the beta given here at 0 0.6 means that Walmart is roughly 60% as risky as the average share of stock. And we given some information in here, the risk-free rate and we're given the total return on the stock market. Okay, so the stock market as a whole has a 2.25 percent unrisky part of the risk-free part and the market risk premium the risk-free rate plus the market risk premium gives you the total return so we're told that the total return is 14.75 that means that the market risk premium must be 12.5. All right, so if we're doing the cost of capital for Kmart, or Kmart, Walmart, that would be equal to 2.25% plus 12.50%, the market risk premium, times Walmart's beta 0.60. Now, a lot of students use calculators, and the calculators, cheap calculators, actually would give you the wrong answer on this. you got to do all the multiplication before you start adding stuff. <coughs> so if we want to write this out and make it cheap calculator proof, it'd be 2.25% plus the the product of 0.6 and 12 and a half. All right. But if we use Excel, it will automatically fix our, any of those problems for us. 2.25% plus 12.5% times 0.6. You do the multiplication before you do any addition, but Excel knows to do that already. Not all calculators do. All right, but there is your cost of equity capital using the capital asset pricing model.